Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kitty Mary and uh, today I want to take you guys through my week. It's been a while since I've done the a week in my zero waste sustainable low waste life. So I thought I wanted to do that today. And what better way to get started on a Monday morning than doing my makeup. I'll explain briefly what sort of products I'm using. Face serum by Naked and Thriving. I do have entire makeup routine videos that will go into detail a little bit more and my makeup routine doesn't change that much it's very 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 rarely that we see a big change in what i'm doing um there we are okay just a little bit of elate concealer under my eyes do, 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 do. putting on makeup in the morning especially on days where i feel a little bit flat or just a little bit like mm, it's not my day so it feels like a ritual where you become more ready and i feel more like myself i've just grown really fond of the process than i have and a late blush. This is so nice. So we're just gonna do a little cheek action there. Sal bronzer, which is always more pigmented than I assume it's gonna be. Forehead bronzer, nose bronzer, chin bronzer. Also an Elate product. Um, also really been through this one. Whenever I find something that really just works for me, I just keep using it until the day I die. Um, and I sort of feel that way with this brow balm. She is ready, she is prepared. She is also still a little bit under the weather. Or at least I don't feel under the weather, but I can feel like my throat is definitely not where it, where it usually is. But we're okay, we're fine. I'm going to film some campaigns today and do some vlogging, so it's just gonna add a little bit of highlighter. I like it on my nose too. The highlighter I'm using still from this palette, everything is the same as it was last time. Mascara, also from Sao, right? Yes. For a light everyday lipstick, I'm using these from Beauty Made Easy. They're just packaged in paper, which I think is super neat. And in comparison to many other zero waste lip products, where you have to use your finger, a brush to apply it, I definitely appreciate the convenience of this sustainable product. And also the color is pretty nice, right? Okay, <clears throat> wow, there she is. Let's get on with the day. So today I have just work where I'm sitting at home doing my work on my laptop. I'm filming some things, I'm filming some campaigns. Um, but uh, during the week I have some exciting things that we're doing and I'm bringing you guys with me for that. So stay tuned, it's an exciting week. So one of the exciting things that's happening currently is that for the next month, <laughs> I have an intern. Yay! And you have actually seen her before, this is Vanya. She's my friend of soon 10 years. Next year we have 10 Next year. year. 10 year anniversary. Yes. And you've been on my platform before because we used to live together. Yes. And you're my intern for the next month. It's so yes. exciting because uh, I have so much work for you to do. Yes. And you will see her a little bit in this video because it's sort of like what we do in the week. Other than that, she'll be behind the scenes and just helping me not have my life fall apart. <laughs> Absolute first point on the agenda this Monday morning is uh, sorting out this drawer. And Vanya is just so much better at organizing than I am, so um, she's having a field day or probably something that will later be seen as a trauma. We don't know. We all have this drawer, so I don't want anyone to sort of come for me f because, of yes. Okay, what can, is this bullshittery? You can, you can come for me for this. This is awful. Everyone has a drawer if they do collect collected jars, they will have this mess. I've never met anyone that was able to organize it and keep it organized. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. You know, I did also organize your plates the other day and uh, I think they went like two or three days until it was like not organized anymore. You want to show what you did? Yes. So here. This is very nice. This is sexy. I know. It's called organizing. We have all the lids sorted. So we have the pasta. And usually I like to make my own sauce, but when I don't do that, this is the best thing. It's made from discarded tomatoes. And it's really flavorful and it's, it's, it's so good. Oh, one second, what does it contain? Danish tomatoes, sugar, water, red pepper, basil, uh, apples, chili, onions, garlic. It's divine. Then we have some veggies just for a, I don't know, like a symbolic salad. Vegan cheese and I had this in the freezer. This is a vegan meatball from Naturally. So we're gonna do that as well just to add a little bit of protein. Do I continue to use this sauce because it is one of the best food containers that I know? Also, here we go. 
Mm -hmm. Hello guys, the weather is shit today. So we are working from home. I am wearing the coziest thing I could find in my wardrobe, which is this huge jumper dress. It's lovely, it's from Marla Clothing and it's super, super comfortable. An exciting thing I'm prepping for today, by the way, is um, a showing of the house tomorrow. Fingers crossed. So Vanya and I, we're prepping, styling, cleaning, and also I had a wall with no paint on it. We're also painting the wall so everything is spick and span. The fabulous life of a blogger. <laughs> Hustler, Skella, hustle. Hustle, must hustle. Okay, so it's just Emily in Paris and uh, whatever leftovers we had in the fridge. Just got a really cool package that we are gonna unwrap now. The makeup company Salt New York just sent me a few of their swatches and they look so nice. And I really, really like that they are wrapped in paper, which is super cool. So we have some really versatile pieces. I use them um, in my everyday life. See, I've already used these this from the last time that I, I tried that product and I've hit pan on almost all of them. They're really, really nice. So I use them both as lip products, as tints on my cheeks, everything, eyeshadow, everything. And uh, then we have a little one here. They're really nice. We've already tried them and they look super nice, especially this one, like, ooh. And uh, pretty low waste in terms of packaging, which I definitely like. So uh, there's an ABBA vibe and also the house is very much indeed ready for the showing. So I just poured myself a glass of red wine. I just wanted to show you the mood. I turned off the big light. I have my candlesticks and uh, just small lights. This is such a vibe. It's uh, quarter past five and uh, we're getting ready now. We have a train to catch. Done. Let's go. Four hours later, and we arrived. Let's go to a vintage shop. The priorities. Priorities. For pretty obvious reasons, I always have to come here. Look at all these vintage clothes. Trying on the tiniest mini skirt of all time. Excuse me? om porkartofler og min bælte, der kom tilbage. Ja, 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 præcis. Men det er fint, det er nemt at huske, så skal jeg bare... So we just went to film a campaign. I am super excited. It's a Danish campaign, so... Uh, I don't think it will make much sense. It's basically a sex positive, this is why you should eat more vegetables, because you're... Mm -hmm, will become a lot better if you eat more vegetables. It's gonna be really, really fun, so... Spoiler alert. And now we're going to our hotel, and then we have a museum stop. Which is exactly my vibe. Yeah, it's your vibe. It's basically why you're here. This and yes. the food. This and this the food. And the food. Yeah. Bitches that pack light, we sure don't pack light. We got to our hotel room. It was so nicely gifted to us by Scandic. And uh, it's so nice to have a great place to stay. So we're just gonna relax for a short while. And then we have more plans. So stay tuned. Now we're at my favorite museum ever. Choose experiences over things. Here we have Psyche with her Starbucks. It's good enough to be sculpted in marble. Must be pretty delicious. One thing better than a museum is going either like to the attic or to the basement and seeing all like the studies that they did before the actual artwork. So this is a Field day. I am. This is my favorite museum in the whole entire world, and it's just so amazing. Absolute nightmare fuel. So plans often have the habit of changing. We were just invited to a vegan food event at the Indian Embassy. Because why not? Why not? So we're going to the Indian Embassy now. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> After the event at the embassy, Vanya and I went to Bistro Verde. They started out by serving us some amazing lemon kombucha. For starters, we had a little bit of guac with some crisps. And then we had a vegan open-faced sandwich with vegan salmon on it. And I have always loved, especially like the smoked 
fishy, salmon-y flavor. I was so excited about it. Vanya was not as into it, she doesn't like fish, so her expression when she tasted this honestly feels like a stamp of approval because her disliking it meant that it was too close to the real thing. For mains we got a pasta cashew carbonara and we got the juicy marbles plant-based steak with an artichoke puree and cranberry sauce. Both dishes were absolutely amazing. We were blown away by how good it was. And then we got a really exciting gift to take home from a new up and coming, hopefully soon, bakery in Copenhagen. Is what's inside. I am a little bit in awe. This is so nice. Vanya just unbuttoned her pants so she can eat more I food. I actually buttoned them back up so I could be in the video. <laughs> they were open. <laughs> <laughs> and I just completely called you out for no reason. Yeah. We'll have to try now. Want to share? Okay, we can share. <laughs> so good. I think I need to try it with the mm. topping. Mm -hmm. Sugar. Mm -hmm. I want to try the rum thing. Try the rum thing. Mm -hmm. Also, your serpent, that's basically your, your food. It's so good. This is also really good. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty awesome ending to a quite busy day. Yes, I'm so tired. I don't want to be that girl, but the hotel bar delivers your cocktails. That you can then enjoy in bed after a good shower. There's honestly nothing better than this. Eternal optimist here, but I always want to give the hotel buffet breakfasts a chance but they're never very good for vegans but this time like there still wasn't a lot of food but there was a vegan chocolate spread i was very happy and vegan butter as well actually so i am very happy with today's breakfast so we're at one of the biggest bookstores in copenhagen and uh, i have to see if i can find my book one second look at me i'm 50 percent off we're going home in a second and um, I bought some takeout to take on the train. We have vegan burritos! So the train, we have the cakes from yesterday evening. I have my laptop, I'm working. And um, a black bean burrito. Happy Friday everybody! I am in the best mood today. I came home super late yesterday. I went straight from the train to my taekwondo practice and it was amazing and I was glad that I did it but I am beat today. Today I am filming some content and primarily it's going to be about home spa experiences and just like everyday luxury which is why my head is also stained in a towel and I thought I just wanted to check in anyway because you know yeah so today Vanya and I we are going to do a lot of like self-care things wellness things we're gonna put on face masks I think we are going to order takeout and then just absolutely relax and chill that's today. Anyway, I wanted to check in and talk about how to enjoy your hobbies, your sport, your exercise, your whatever you do in your free time in a more sustainable way. I have an entire video about that actually, but just because I talked about Taekwondo just a second ago, so I wanted to talk about it again. The best way to make any hobby, any exercise, anything like that more sustainable is by getting all the equipment for it secondhand. And that's it. That and bringing a reusable water bottle is the only things I need to do to make my Taekwondo practice more sustainable. And all the uniforms that I have, all the dough books that I have, they are all secondhand. I haven't bought a new one ever. And I have even found some of my belts in thrift stores and simply just reused those. But I wanted to show what, I think I've showed you my uniform before. It's going in the wash now because it's pretty gross. Um, but I like to lean into the idea that it's secondhand. So when I got it, I got it from one of my friends from the club. And instead of having my name made on top of hers and like her name taken out, this is embroidered in and you can have them taken out and then put new like names in. Instead, I just ran a red thread across her name and then had my name put in on top. 
because it's secondhand and I want that to be very visible because I think it's super cool and it makes the uniform even more special. And like the same place where I got that embroidered, I started getting other things done. It's sort of just like my tattoos at this point where I just, we're just accumulating now. And um, so on the back of my dough book, I got a tofu written. So it's always on my butt whenever I wear the uniform. <laughs> Things I do for the plot sometimes. Anyway, we're throwing this in the wash now. This is my laundry detergent. These are laundry sheets and I think you can just find them by searching for laundry sheets. They're super, super nice and handy. So you simply just take a sheet like this and you pop it into your washing machine and that's it. I have filmed the rest of my campaigns. Vanya is still watching Emily in Paris. I, I respect it. It's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. Should we do drinks? You know, yes. since it's Friday. Yes. While well, Vanya is struggling opening the wine, <laughs> uh, I made these ice cubes with orange juice, and they're completely round and nice. That was a horrible pour. No, oh, you're doing great, sweetie. Cheers. Cheers. I think this is a pretty good way to end the video. This was Friday. Nothing more is happening. I'm making burritos tonight, um, but that's it. And I tried to keep this video pretty minimal on the food and just show you a bunch of other shenanigans and then we can do food another day. Thank you for being in your first video as a personal assistant. Oh, you're so welcome. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching all this tomfoolery. The camera is focusing on Vanya's face instead of mine and honestly I'm taking it personal. I am more important. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> shoo, shoo. I cannot deal with that level of competition. No, no, no. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and take really good care of yourselves until next time and have a really good weekend. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys helped me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!